Bonner MD Anderson Cancer Center is scheduled to open September 26th in Gilbert. And here to tell us more about this new specialty cancer facility is the center's medical director, Dr. Edgardo Rivera. Good to have you here. Thanks for joining Thank you. us. Thanks for having me. Talk about the importance of this cancer center to Arizona. Definitely, yes. The, um, the cancer center definitely is going to be very important not only to Phoenix, but to Phoenix uh, metro area. And simply because, you know, the oncology care in this area for many years has been really fragmented. You know, a lot of smaller practices, uh, uh, there's never been really a truly uh, standalone cancer center. So bringing Banner and MD Anderson t together really brings an expertise that was never here before. Is it unusual for experts in one particular field of care to merge, to, to have a partnership, a deal, if you will, um, with a more broader care service? Is this kind of marriage unusual? You know, it, it's, it's happened before. Uh, I think this is the first time this is happening here. I mean, you're bringing Banner Health, which is a major giant in this area uh, when it comes to healthcare. You bring MD Anderson in Houston, that's been ranked number one cancer center by US News and World Report for many, many years. You bring them together just really to bring an enhanced quality of oncology care in, in Phoenix. And it sounds like it's also the kind of uh, marriage, if you will, that would catch the attention of the industry. They're going to watch and see how things go. That's correct. So it's really, you know, when it comes to their vision, their um, uh, excellence of care from both institutions, it really was the marriage that was made in heaven, uh, if you want to put it that way. And it's something that's going to be watched very carefully because we're sort of, uh, uh, we're in sort of a unique situation. This is the first time that MD Anderson Houston is opening a full service cancer center outside Houston. Um, so we're not a satellite clinic. We're actually a full service cancer center. We're going to provide exactly the same services that are being provided at MD Anderson Houston. Uh, it's going to be a cancer center that's going to be also very disease specific. Will there be certain cancers, uh, you said disease specific, I would imagine that means certain cancers will be targeted? That's correct. So in this area it's very common, for example, we have high incidence of breast cancer, uh, colon cancer, prostate, also very high incidence of GYN cancer, gynecological cancers like ovarian, uh, cervical. So we're going to have experts that are, are going to be focusing on those specific diseases. And sort of the same model that we have at MD Anderson Houston. So just to give an example, I actually work at MD Anderson Houston for 12 years. I'm a breast oncologist. I've only been doing breast cancer for more than 15 years now. So we're going to have experts in a specific disease. So it, 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 why wouldn't MD Anderson just open a facility in Arizona? Again, back to the partnership, back to the marriage. Why is that so important? Why did MD Anderson go that route? Well, you know, Anderson needed a, the right partner. Banner needed the right partner as well. Banner brings the business side. Um, MD Anderson brings the clinical expertise and really the experience in oncology care. Uh, Banner has never had a standalone outpatient cancer facility. So it really made sense to partner with, in this case, the right partner. Uh, so we look around for some time. We felt that MD Anderson was actually the right partner simply because of prestige and the reputation that they've had. Impact on health care costs, uh, impact on health care reform, these kinds of things. What does a partnership like this hold for the future? Oh, it's, it's um, really, uh, I would think that we will probably see more of this type of uh, partnerships in the future, not necessarily with MD Anderson or not necessarily with Banner, but other institutions, simply because we have, in this case, you have Banner that is, again, bringing the business side. Uh, and as you know, there's been quite a lot of changes in healthcare, and there are going to be more changes. Um, you have MD Anderson that is known for the clinical expertise, but it really makes sense to have both, uh, to really have uh, uh, really both sides in order to be able to manage and deal with some of the changes that are happening in healthcare. How many patients, just general figure, what are, what are you guys looking at out there expecting to see? Oh, you know, we're actually uh, expecting that uh, the projections will tell us that that really we're going to be seeing up approximately about 25% of all the oncology uh, care in this area. Does that suggest 25%. expansion plans then? Yeah, so right now we're opening phase one which is an outpatient facility that is about 133,000 square feet. Uh, but we actually have room to expand up to approximately 450,000 square feet. We're in the Banner Gateway campus. 
Uh, so there's quite a lot of room to to grow. And it looks like a, it's like a very modern looking facility, obviously, uh, in terms of the economy. Someone's going to have to build that. You got some jobs there. And once it's built, you will have development, I would imagine, commercial, retail, hotels, the whole nine yards. So that's correct. So there's a major econ economic impact that's being made in specifically the East Valley. Uh, we have about 250 employees that we uh, already hired. Uh, we're going to serve about approximately 50 physicians. So it's going to make a major impact in that area simply be because of the type of job and professional that we're bringing. But also that will really, it's a domino effect. You know, as we grow, uh, we're going to see probably a grow in terms of uh, retail, uh, the hotel industry, et cetera. All right. Very good. Well, it sounds like quite the project. It sounds like you're ready to hit the ground running. So it's good to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.